Welcome back to Sipping with Sin, the podcast about stuff and things and things and stuff that are important to everybody across the world. It is just facts. Number one podcast of such and things proven by people far smarter than all of us. It is what it is. You just have to accept it in your heart of hearts. But welcome back to another week, another episode. We appreciate you all being here and listening. And this is our first episode of doing it live in front of a studio audience, a.k.a. Uh, Kickstream. So we're doing this live in front of Kick, so it's going to be interesting if alerts pop off during it. They should be muted, but they're not, so we'll see how that goes. All right, but without further ado, let's welcome back our esteemed colleague, the one, the only, Mr. Christian. Thank you so much. It feels good to be back for another episode. I can't wait to talk about some of these topics and to uh, possibly complain about some things. Oh, God. God. (laughs) <laughs> all right well listeners i would like for you to uh listeners and uh chat watching live i would like for you to count how many times uh christian bitches about something or how many rants he goes on about things or what also is the thing you always say there is a one saying you literally say probably like six times a show that being said is that, that being one? said there you go all right it's your job <laughs> you have to document that anyway so uh we're gonna get right to it i hope you've enjoyed the uh what we've been doing the last two of the parts of it or whatever yeah i believe this is episode 90 i think so we are 10 away Oof. from hitting 100 episodes that's a lot what the hell dude what the hell um okay so what we've been into how we like to start is what we went into watching reading listening to or playing or whatever recently uh i talked about this last podcast a little bit and we're gonna pick back up on that because i finished spider-man 2 the game and on top of that, not to add to the Spider-Man conversation that's about to ensue, my son has gotten engrossed in Spider-Man. To my Ooh. surprise. So he watched, when he was a, a littler boy that did not remember or really know anything, he just saw the colors, we watched the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I think we talked about it on the podcast. Hmm. Um, but the other day, I was like, I'm tired of watching Bluey and all this stuff over and over. I was like, dude, let's try this. Because he liked the Spider-Man game. So he like he would say we every time I would swing and like he was interested like he actually was excited for it a little bit. And I was like okay, I was like let's do this. So I put on uh, Tom Holland, the first Spider Man he was in, uh, Homecoming, right? Oh, nice. So I put that on. I was like, we'll see if he likes it because some CGI stuff like really grabs him and certain things. And I was like, we'll see, dude. He was engrossed immediately. I was like, okay. So we have watched all three Tom Holland movies several times, literally. Like we've gone through them a bunch. I did try Andrew Garfield, um, and he was he watched like five minutes of it and wasn't feeling it. I was like, dude, come on. I think it's the color. I think it's just a little darker the way it's shot. Just he, muted a bit? Yeah, he just I don't think it grabbed him. But today I was like, you know what? Want, let's try because he's starting to wear the Tom Holland's out a little bit because he's like, mm-hmm. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And uh, <laughs> so I was like, we'll do the McGuire one today. He actually was kind of digging McGuire, and I was like, all right, sweet. That's at least six movies now I can rotate between. Like, we can we can bounce around. So, uh, I mean, that's good that he's interested in that kind of stuff and that he, like, he's actually interested because he's calling his name and stuff. Oh, I, dude, I really... he says Spider-Man nonstop. He's like, Peter-Man, Peter-Man. And I'm like, dude. And then he'll, like, point his fingers like he's shooting web. So I make mm-hmm. the web sound, and then he'll hold his arms up and run through the house like he's swinging. Dude, he's all about it. Okay. He's enjoying it. Uh, but back to the game. So if you're listening or watching, you might want to mute for a second if because I'm sure we'll discuss spoilers. But finish Spider-Man 2. Dude, that was a blast. That was a great game. It was so yes, much it was. fun. Um, I told you I was super interested in Miles and uh, the amount of interest in Miles was growing. Dude, it, it didn't stop. Miles is amazing. Miles is so strong. Dude yes, is. is already, he's, how old is Miles in that game? Like 17, he's maybe got, he's 18? 16, 17. He's 16 or 17. Because he's, he's still in high school. Yeah, he he's in one of the, like the specialty high school for like, for like geniuses, essentially. He's not in college yet. But dude is already like stupid strong. Like, honestly, he's got so many more abilities than, than Peter. It's crazy. Um, He does have more, he does have more abilities. Like his abilities are essentially the same he can't he can do the camouflage thing and he has of course the, like the lightning based yeah the lightning based stuff um which i will say like i love his lightning based stuff a lot the problem the only problem with that ability and this is number one for bitching that uh here, here's the issue he 
has that power, that lightning based ability, and I think it is dope. It fits his character perfectly. But in comic books, most black characters that have superpowers have some kind of lightning based ability. And I didn't catch that. I didn't like realize that in its entirety until I started getting a little older. And then bam, there it is. You, you see it everywhere. Uh, it's starting to change now. Like it's been starting to change over the last few years. You get a lot of characters that do a lot of stuff. Uh, it's just a little bit more more diverse, of course. And then like characters like the X Men, that's diverse as shit. Like that's all they do there. But um, but I really love Miles. The only thing about Miles that I did not love in the game, the only thing I did not love about Miles in the game, which I feel like I may have talked about before, was his final costume in the game that you get like for the oh, story dude. mode. There's a couple that costumes was... I wasn't feeling his. Awesome. That costume was dog water, dude. I was like, who made this? And like, why is it? And like, I didn't realize when I was playing the game because I said this to my wife. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is like an Adidas ad or something. Oh, well, and his shoes match. Behold, he has Adidas shoes on. They're like, or same yeah. color scheme. So that outfit came out the day the game dropped. That's mm. why. And I was like, dude, y'all didn't have to do him like that. And then he, the, the part that the makes Carnage the worst costume is, of his. He, Dude, that one's honestly sick. that carnage that carnage costume was dope. The only thing I didn't like about the carnage costume was he had like these weird shoulder pads, but I didn't I didn't really care that there much. Several I of his I kept bouncing. I was like, oh, this one's nasty. Tell me you use that White Ranger costume. White Ranger? Uh, probably not. Dude, I was using it was the, Mysteri- it was was the Mysterio the- costume that you could oh, get. Oh, did you know I did? Like I green- did. Yeah. I did use that one. Yeah, I think. What color did I go with though? I don't think it was white. Because if you if you use the green one, the solid green, it had the green and gold, so he looked like the Green Ranger. But if you shift it down to the white one, it looked like the white White Tiger, uh, Power Ranger. And I was like, Yo, I use that. I use that for a, a, a solid like. The Mysterio costume was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. I loved it. I lo- I loved. I can talk about the costumes a whole a whole podcast. Like there were some costumes that you had in that game that were sick. I will say this though. I used the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume for Peter quite a bit. That, I, I still to this day love that costume. I love it so much. It's I think it's dope. Um, I, I did use the Toby costume for a while. Um, the Black Spidey costumes in general were, yeah. are always cool. They, they, I like the one in so the game. Many. I used it more than the, the movie one. Wait, which which one did you use the most? The, the one that it kind of like makes you use at one point. I stayed with that quite a bit. Once you uh, had the, it. not the one from the movie that's like, or the the cartoon is like a little more shiny. This one was a little less shiny. Oh oh, yeah yeah I got you. Oh I tell you, I, I lied I lied just then. The costume I used the most was the the Spider Man costume from. Uh, no way home the one that he makes at the very end of the movie that's all like shiny and yeah. stuff and it looks like his original that's the one i used the most as soon as i got that costume i pretty much didn't take it off i used it the almost the entirety of the game and i would switch stuff out when i was doing side missions just to see them but yeah I, that's that's pretty much what i used the whole time okay um it, it was just it was just cool i got the platinum so i'm happy so i'm done with that and then uh i got I did not I platinum it. that game and i feel real crappy about it because i wanted i really wanted to platinum that game but there was a couple of side missions that i forgot uh so i need to go back and and do those for sure but uh it was dude that was a great game that was a great game um one of the key what would you rank it what would you rank it like one to ten what would you rank it right now top of my head i'll give it a nine for sure that's fair my you, that's the fair. missions i dislike the most are mj missions yeah, I mean, I've course. been running around who, who likes electrocuting those? people and doing all this cool stuff, and then I have to like pretty much Metal Gear Solid creep around. I'm like, no, let me do my superhero thing. I'm over here kicking people from the top of a skyscraper and everything else. I'll tell you what, I just remembered a costume that I hated. It was the Secret Wars like Civil War suit, the one where you had like the camo pants on mm. and shit. Like I, I, I didn't did not, one. I did not like that at all. That was not my jam. Did you like what they did with Venom? Oh, I'm so glad I can talk about this now. I literally have been waiting to talk about the, the Chat, Venom spoilers stuff. spoilers incoming, sorry. Oh, yeah. Everybody, hard spoilers. Yeah. There, I, I, I pretty much loved Venom. I'm not going to lie. I pretty Tony Todd much crushes the Venom. voice, too. He sounds really good as Venom. Dude, Tony Todd as Venom was 
So here's my favorite voice of Venom is the 90s animated Spider-Man cartoon Venom because that was the first Venom that I heard aside from yeah actually no that was the first venom that i heard because even in the games it was that version of him and then they they changed it out and it sounded really dopey and stupid they made remember when in like the late 90s early 2000s when they made venom a total dumbass and like he just sounded really stupid like a bro like i hated that but tony todd's voice is venom i think is my new favorite voice of venom of all time it's like really it was good. it it was so good like no i don't nobody else is going to do it and, and and me care about it as much as i care about this one um harry being Venom first. I should really like, like Harry in this game. Dude, Harry was Harry was a standout in this game. The only thing about Harry that I, I wasn't cared buying, about Harry in this game like Yeah, that's the thing. That's why that's why I was go- that's why I'm about to say what I'm about to say. The the only thing about Harry that I wasn't fully buying, fully buying was how quickly he turned because he was pretty he was talking to the symbiote, right? Like, yo, we can't do this. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not about this life. Like Peter's my friend, this and that. He's gonna find a cure. I trust him. Blah blah blah. And then like Venom shows him some stuff, and then bam, he turns immediately. So that was really hard to buy. But on top of that, I know from reading the comics and playing the games and watching the movies and all that that the symbiote, like before before the 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 change of Venom, right before he became a good guy essentially or anti hero, whatever. He, he was evil as fuck. So, like, I, I forgot that. And uh, just because I'm so used to reading Venom now, I, so I forgot how evil Venom could have, was, essentially. But I really, really, really liked Harry. I really liked Venom. I thought the look of Venom was awesome. And I got to say, Harry just being this other version of Spider-Man for a little bit when they were doing the little tag team thing, I was down, though. I, I, I was like, you know what? I've never seen this before, and I'm into it. I'm okay with this. Really I'm not liked, mad at all. I like all. the change. I think it was a nice, um, a nice it's a good like, change deviation, of pace. You know, yeah, dude, and it makes I, sense. I really like, it's, like it. it's not something that is through like we need a venom. Like it actually makes sense in the grand scheme of things. So like Harry's disease and all that stuff. Like it works. It works actually pretty it well. Did. The it did. I so stupid I'm question, so used, and you'll probably. Yeah. I feel like so the flame, right? You're chasing side missions with uh the with Wraith and stuff. Uh, the flame. I know exactly what you're about to say. Yeah. Is go ahead. that was that actually uh um what's his name? What am I trying to say? Carnage's real name. Cletus. The, the serial killer. Cassidy. What is Cletus it? Cassidy. Okay, is that actually him? Yeah, that's Carnage. Because didn't they say that name later? Yeah. As the end got, the, like at the end symbio, of that mission. He d- something said and I was like, Okay, so this is gonna be Carnage based on how he's acting. He and already I feel has, like they said he his other aliases, it. and that was one of them. And I was like, "Oh, okay, so it is." Carnage. No, no, that was that was his real name. And because when you get to the end of that side mission, like it's the very last part before like he goes away or whatever, they say his actual name and like why the because if you the the flame, it's kind of made for the game, obviously. But that character is Cletus Cassidy, and the reason why they expanded on that, like being the flame, is because Cletus Cassidy like burned his family alive or whatever, like. That was his like first kill, I want to say, before he became like a full on serial killer and started killing everybody. Um, so I thought that that was really cool as a as a Spider Man fan and the person who loves. Oh, wait, he burned his family. Yeah, I think it was his grandmother. He burned her alive. He either he either stabbed her, or burned her alive. Or, no, no, I think he killed her and then burned the house down. Is what it was. I didn't know that. I think okay. that yeah. That's cool though. But no, so... dude, he's, he's crazy as hell. He's cuckoo banana pants for sure. Cuckoo banana pants. Okay, wow. Um, so next game is gonna be Goblin and. Carnage is pretty much what it looks like, dude. I I, I can't right? wait. I mean, for, that's for essentially Carnage. what you set up. Well, and maybe Doc Ock, because they kind of they'll bring him back. I'm sure. I don't know they if they, back, he won't uh, be the main focus though, because we've already done that with yeah. him. Yeah, they brought back the they brought back what's his name from the last game uh, for Miles, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Mister um, Negative. I knew nothing about yeah. him before the Miles game, but he actually oh, was really? a kind of an interesting character. I mean, he he wasn't nearly that cool in the. It's like they made him a boss in the game, so I was I was here for it. Martin Lee was his name. But I was here for for him, and I I did I thought I was gonna hate those side missions with Miles, but I ended up really enjoying those, and it made Miles' character a little bit more human for me, yeah. which I liked. Um, I really really like this game, dude. I love this this iteration of Spider Man. I love this iteration of of Miles. Um, how did you feel about the ending of the game? Like after the Harry stuff happens, and and then Peter essentially gives. Like kind of retiring. 
I kind of, yeah. ca- I called it at the beginning when I first started playing. I was talking to the wife, and you I was said like, that. You said that last. last I was recording, like, you said that. he's either dying or he's like gonna give it up. Like essentially, he's gonna pass the torch to Miles. Just how I feel, like I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like mm-hmm. that's how they're setting up, and kind of does. Which we'll see what they do in the next one. But I mean, he he pretty much does in a way, and I'm I'm all for it. I mean, that's cool. I'm fine with being Miles. I will fully embrace the role of playing Miles Morales. I I think that it's really so. Here's I I obviously I'm a huge Spider Man fan, and I love Peter. I love Miles. Um, they're both Spider Man to me. We talked about that last week. I am so okay with Miles being the only Spider-Man in this game for a couple of reasons. One, Peter's life in every iteration of Spider-Man always sucks. He has been through the ringer in this game. He's Peter lost on Peter gets shit on lost, nonstop. Yeah, hardcore. He, he, the only thing that he has left other than being Spider-Man is MJ in these games. So he stops and, and, and likes to take that in. And I fully think that Miles could take the, could handle everything. But because they set up the return of, of Doc Ock, because they set up the, the 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 not the return but the but they, they set up carnage is what i'm trying to say his introduction He'll they set up facet. yeah they, they set up a lot of things in this game to come later and i really really enjoy that and i think that miles is going to have to call peter that's going to be one of the main story points of, of the next game is miles not wanting to to call on peter because he wants to prove that he can continue doing it himself and then peter's going to have to show up like halfway through the game back in back as spider-man helping him and uh one thing really quick i wanted because i know we need to move on so one thing i want to touch on really quickly was you remember when you're miles and you have to fight peter af- after he's all taken over by the yeah. symbiote First of all, that's one of the coolest boss fights in all the Spider-Man games that I've played. I really, I really like that that boss battle. But if you, I don't know if you did this or not, but if you try to use your camouflage on Peter, on Venom essentially, like while that's happening, then Peter says, we can still see you. And that scared the, the shit out of me when I was playing the game. I was like, oh my God. I did not uh, have and camouflage. I, I was just trying to stay in that ass. I was after I did Peter. the camouflage on accident because I was frantically trying to to not get comboed because dude, Peter with the symbiote, when you have to fight against him, he does not mess around, dude. He will end you if you let him. So I was just I and I was low on health. Did you so enjoy I was really playing trying Venom to get away. during that one scene where you get to run around as Venom? I did. It was repetitive, but I yeah. really, really. I mean, did you're just like pretty much smashing everything and going just. Yeah. It reminded me of another superhero game that I really, really liked back in the early 2000s, uh, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, and that's what it felt like, and I really I enjoyed that. But yeah, you never played that game? Mm-mm. Oh shoot! You need to do yourself a, a, a favor and, and check that out. Like you know, in the in the movie when he fought Abomination, like the Incredible, what was it called? Incredible Hulk movie when he fought the Abomination and he takes the two cars and smashes them together to make those like boxing gloves. That game is where that came from. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, we can I, move on. It, it was uh, fantastic. Last thing about Spider Man, I was told to tell you this on the podcast, but mm-hmm. since we've been watching all the Tom Holland ones, if you remember first time we watched uh, No Way Home, the missus was not mm-hmm. crazy about it. I think I said that and it blew your mind. Cause she asked, she was like, didn't Christian not like it? I was like, no, Christian loved that movie. He was, I'm pretty sure, in fact, the quote was, that was the first time you felt Tom Holland was Peter Parker. Yep. And Listen. she was just like, oh, well, I didn't like it at first, but the more I'm watching it, actually, I think this is my favorite. Like, I, I really love it. I'm like, I told you, it's good. Like, she just got caught up yeah. on, like, I guess some of the corniness of all of them together and everything that went on, but. Totally fair. No, but, I get uh, that. It's all baby sin's fault that we're watching it so much now. So yeah, that's how it goes, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at all the stuff he can pick. I'm like, okay, dude, you want to watch Spider Man? We'll watch Spider Man. <laughs> all right, but let's move along. No more Spider Man talk. We had to get that out of the way. So, uh, what have you been into this past week? Uh, this past week, I, I did, I got to watch a couple things. Uh, one of them I'll talk about quickly, and the other one will lead us into. Okay. Um. But the first one was Invincible season two, episode five. I did get to watch that. I watched um, most you guys... of it. I haven't got to watch it all. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about it, give some light spoilers. If you guys haven't seen it, I apologize. But um, I'm going to talk about it like we've read the comics, right? Because you guys know, if you don't know, if you're new here, 
I'm a huge fan of Invincible. Invincible is my second favorite comic book character of all time. Batman being number one, Invincible being number two. Um, I just really, really like that character. And then, uh, fun fact, Spider-Man's number three. But with that said, <laughs> and I said that, there we go. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, I watched the episode. I really liked that we got to see Oliver, even though he doesn't have a name yet in this. I really liked that uh, we got to see multi Kate's death, quote unquote. Um, I really liked the Sequid battle in general. I thought that was awesome. Um, I really liked that. Uh, I think his name's Donald. He finds out that he's like some kind of weird cyborg thing. Donald looks like freak- Hank Hill if he grew up. Like, or not Hank Hill, sorry, he Bobby does, Hill. Like Bobby Hill, yeah. He, he really looks like, like Bobby, Bobby Hill. Hill with some sunglasses on. Yeah. Damn and it, his Bobby. character wasn't a. I don't remember him being in the comics at all to be honest with you uh, and i could be wrong and if i am excuse me but if he was in it he did, he wasn't a big character so they they made him a thing for the show but i actually really like it um his relationship with amber is still going which is crazy because in the comics his, his relationship with amber is you know it happens and it's done and he goes to eve and, and and that's it which we all expect but i think that they'll drag out the amber thing until the end of this season and then come season three he'll be firmly with uh with uh eve so that's what i think is going to happen but aside from that i i just really like the episode man the animation's good i like the ending uh i know you haven't seen it since so i, I apologize and i'm i'm jumping the gun on this i mean i think i have um, like i don't know 10 14 minutes left somewhere there like i'm pretty close to it um uh, every episode ends practically on a cliffhanger and then yeah. you have the the post credit scenes if you will I really enjoyed the post credit scene of this episode just because it sets up a, a larger story that we're going to have. And there is a character in, in Invincible that I need to talk about real quick. Everybody loves Alan the Alien. Everybody loves Alan the Alien. And if you have not read the comics, I understand why you love Alan, because I did too. But you will grow to fucking hate Alan. And as soon as we get to that point in the show where you hate Alan, I'm going to tell all of you guys I told you so. And I'm just waiting for that to happen because Alan becomes legitimately one of my least liked characters. Uh, there's another character that becomes a, a really hated character for me, but I absolutely don't want to spoil that for you guys. Um, just because th- it's a huge story beat later and I don't want to get into it, but we'll stay I don't care you. about. Yeah, I will. But with the Alan thing, like just pay attention to Alan. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. But uh, but yeah, man, I really in like I really in like excuse me, I really liked Invincible uh, episode five of season two. I know you haven't finished it, but you will, and when you do, it'll be great. Um, that leads me into the next topic that I wanted to talk about. And uh, Sin, I think that you may have also watched this. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I I started watching X Men '97. I watched it today. I was able to watch okay. it today. Uh, baby Did you watch kinda, both episodes or just He one? was kind of pissed because I took his Spider-Man away for a minute, but I was like, hey, look, I need to watch this real quick. So chill. Did you watch both episodes I watched or just both. the one? Yep, I'm caught up. Okay. You are actually ahead of me. I didn't finish the second episode oh, yet. Cause, that's like a lot of my questions revolve around, I'm pretty sure, the second episode. So wait, it is yeah. ruin everything. You can still ask it because I might already know what you're talking about. Because um, I did, I get to, I got to start watching. I just didn't get to get to the very end of it. Because it's right out of time. I mean, it's not but, really... Um, I guess that's questions. One of them is like pretty much just confirming yeah. something. Yeah, ask it. Ask it. Ask okay. It. I have a few things I want to say, and then I'm going to let you go in detail. First off, <laughs> you lied to me. You bastard. About what? About what? 97 is a long time ago, Christian, and I don't remember how far I got in the show back then, and I haven't been able to rewatch it, and mm-hmm. that's like my childhood. So I wanted to be refreshed before we got to this one, and I didn't get a chance to. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I don't know what's happening going into X-Men 97 where they're picking up. And you were like, oh, Professor X just like went off into space to cure his illness. And I was like, okay, cool. Show starts, you're like, hey, Professor X is dead. And I'm like, what the shit? That is not what I was told. Well, they think – so the, everybody except for the X-Men thinks that he's dead because they saw him like go to space with uh, – what's her face? I don't remember her name. I'm not going to you. But he goes to space and uh, because he's you know dying or whatever, and everybody else, the world thinks that he's dead. So that's where this starts. And my bad for for misleading you on that. That that that's totally on me. So that started off on the thing. Uh, other thing, uh, I read somewhere. I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's fully true. This, but um, the dude over Marvel, Kevin. Um, 
Kevin Feige. Thank you. The only way he agreed to do this show was if they brought back the original theme mm -hmm. and the original cast. Yes. Is this all the original cast? Because I feel like it's not. There's no way. No, so like there are – so everybody who's still alive – is, That's what is I, fi I figured because I mean it's a long time ago. There's no way like yeah. I figured some of them had to probably like have passed or something's happened and. Yeah, I know okay. for a fact the voice actor for Cyclops passed away. Okay, because he sounds a little different. Yeah, he is okay. different. So there, that's, there's that's a handful actually the, of the theme made me so happy and was so nostalgic. I loved it. I was super happy. Dude, my favorite part about the theme, aside from the music itself, is that they just straight up reanimated the original theme with the new character model. I also love the I ending, love the uh, like the old school computer, like the cursor, like yeah. the mouse going over them and telling their abilities and everything about them, like almost like a video yeah. game. I think that's dope. Yeah. Okay, moving past that. that. So, Cyclops and Gene are having a baby. Apparently, yes. uh, I'm, apparently yeah. they got yeah, yeah, yeah. they uh they buttered a little biscuit or something, you know, at the end of the other show. Or yeah. I mean, and now they're ready to leave. They're ready to be done X Men and go do their thing. Now that they've you know. I'm glad you said that because I want to get into that real quick. And I'm going to try to make this real fast. So I'm going to talk about it for, you know, 40 hours. But Please for those of you hours. who are initiated, you know exactly who this is. But for people like Sin who are casual fans of X-Men, I don't think that that's Jean. I think that that's a person named Madeline Pryor. And Madeline Pryor is a clone of Jean. Okay, that well, that answers a later question then because I'm pretty sure I already know. It's uh, it's uh, I'm still gonna ask it to confirm it, but I pretty much have my answer. Go ahead and ask it. Go ahead and ask it. No, I'm not to that yet. That is not on the note I'm at. All right, go to the next note. Go to okay. The next note. So yeah. Anyways, I'll also get to the gene thing too. But <laughs> going on down, Magneto now is over the X Men because of uh, Professor X's will. He pretty much leaves him like his estate, the X Men, like mm -hmm. everything. He's like yeah. my oldest friend, whatever, taking over. Yeah. Which is dope. Magneto looks different. He's not the Magneto yes. I'm used to. It's not like the thing around his chest and neck. He's got like a cutoff kind of. He's kind of jacked. His yeah. hair's also really sick. Yeah, that's what Magneto looked like in the comics around this time. So that that's why. Um, that's wait. That's what he looks like. That's Mag what he Magneto looks like. actually pretty sick. Animation is really good in this too. By the way, I actually do like it the is. animation. Magneto looks like that because that's what he looked like around the time uh, of uh, of this 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 year and everything around the time this came out. That's what he looked like. But also, it's because the storyline that they're using for Magneto, he changed his costume because he had a redemption arc. He knew he was no longer a villain, and that's what they're doing with his character right now. Okay. In the show, so uh, that's why he looks like that. Okay. Um, past that. So moving on. Uh, Storm mm -hmm. loses her powers, which kind of sucks. They kind of they kind of shit on Storm a little bit. Yeah, they do. Did you know that that was in episode? That's in episode two. Whoops, sorry. That's in episode two, but I knew that, that was coming. We were, okay, so, we're so Storm through. loses power. All right, now to the questions that were pretty much confirming by what we talked about earlier. Uh, Cyclops and Jean, alleged Jean, have a baby. Yes. And the baby's name is Nathan Charles Summers. So for those That's who correct. don't know who Nathan Charles Summers is, that is Cable. I'm pretty that damn sure. That is Cable sure. as hell. That is extra That's Cable. cable. Okay. That is Cable mm -hmm. from Deadpool, from X-Men, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's actually, that got me kind of excited. When they said the name, I was it like, should. I know that name. And then I was like, oh. It should get you excited because they already confirmed that Cable, like the character that we grew up with in the 90s, is going to be making several cameos in the show. Okay. We already saw Cable in the original X Men animated series show. We there was tons of episodes with Cable in it, so we we're gonna see him again. Okay, and then uh, last thing that I have, uh, there are two genes because someone knocks at the door at the end of the episode two, and it's uh, kind of like a wore out, exhausted lady, mm -hmm. to which they say Jean, and everybody's confused because Jean's mm -hmm. standing in the background. So. Mm -hmm. There's two genes. So but apparently there's a clone that pretty much confirms that there's a clone after what you said earlier. Yeah. Clone, uh, Madeline Pryor is a famous clone of Gene created by, I'm going to give you one clone of Gene. What? You cut out. Who? What? I said, I'm going to give you one guess on who created this clone of Gene. Uh, don't know. It's where you get your name from. Oh, Mr. Sinister. Mm-hmm. Interesting. 
Okay. Mr. Sinister makes this clone of Jean because he wants, he wants, he thinks that Jean's genes, like I know that's crazy to say, Jean's Jean genes. Gray, Jean Gray and and Scott Summers Cyclops. Apparently, Cyclops together, is getting in Jean's genes. Oh, for sure. He thinks that they could create like Logan the, wanted this to. mega this mega being, so he clones her with the purpose of Cyclops falling in love with her, thinking that she's getting this clone pregnant and then taking that baby because that baby's going to be like this this messiah essentially, which would be Cable, because um, Cable is strong as piss. He has some dope dope powers, but the version of Cable that we know and love with the gun and all the metal arms and shit, like he is affected by this call this techno organic virus. And that's why his his body is like half metal is because that virus is slowly taking over his body. So um, if that weren't the case, Cable would probably be one of the strongest mutants on Earth because he has the telepathy like Gene does. And uh, he has a lot of powers. And, and I don't want to go, I don't want to talk too long about all the things Cable can do, but he can do a lot of stuff. And he doesn't get done justice in a lot of the shows just because they don't have the time to, to make him as cool as he is. Um, but yeah, Cable's dope, and I can't wait to see more of the show. There's going to be 10 episodes altogether. We just saw two. Uh, episode three comes out next week. I I love this show. What day did they Everything come about out? It. I don't even know. Um, my, wait, yesterday. Come out? Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays. Excuse me, Wednesdays. Nice. Um, yeah, that makes sense, Disney+. Plus. So yeah, they come out Wednesdays. I'm really excited about it. Um, th- this is awesome. I love the new uh, Marvel animation intro show us i love the og theme like we said with with the with the new animated stuff i love that bishop is going to be in this because he's one of my favorite x-men characters Who's missing um, it bothered me the whole intro someone's missing bishop no from the original who was in the original oh i actually have that in my notes so i'll get to uh somebody let me actually go to it right missing now and it was bugging it me. was, was like, is it colossus colossus one in the, the original was he colossus wasn't in the original they they have a picture of the og team in in episode one there's a picture of them and it's also why um, did i think morph died because he did okay so in the very morph first early. episode the very yeah. first episode of the original series Morph apparently died but he didn't die he got captured and they they brainwashed him and made him evil um, and Morphin, happened, but... Wolverine are like boys out there, grab assing around and like, like what, is, <laughs> dude? I don't even know what's going. And they, on. they, they were absolutely boys. But the picture that you see of the original team is Angel, Cyclops, Gene, Iceman, and Beast. But Beast before he mutated further and turned blue. It's him with like the regular skin. So yeah, we have that team. Um. But I, even in the intro, you see that the, the roster is for the villains is Juggernaut, Emma Frost, which is different, uh, Lady Deathstrike, Pyro, uh, Mystique. And I don't know who the dude on the very end is. I don't know who he was. Um, I'd have to I have to see him use his powers or hear him talk or something. But I think it might be Avalanche, but I don't I don't want to say that and be wrong. Um, then you have on on the X-Men team, it's Cyclops, Wolverine. Rogue, Gambit, Storm, Jubilee, and then Jean, of course. And then we get Beast later. Um, I really, I just really liked a lot of that stuff. Um, it continues where the other one left off. Sunspot gets introduced. He's a big character in this. You, see, I don't think you get to see him use his powers fully in the first episode. You just see him activate like a little bit of it. And his story is like an allegory to being uh, queer. He's not, I don't think, in this, but... If you pay attention to his storyline, it's just like his dad doesn't like mutants. He's a mutant. He doesn't want to say it and get disowned. It's essentially him being queer, like how that would be for a lot of people. Wait, who, who are you talking about? That, uh, Sunspot from the first oh, episode. Oh, the, the dude they're talking to in the first episode they're trying to get? Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Who, who becomes friends with Jubilee. Yeah. Because his story, his story honestly just mirrors Jubilee. Yeah. There's similarities there for sure. 100 percent and also really quick madeline Pryor. for those of you who read the comics she is now referred to as the goblin queen i believe mm-hmm. and runs like hell or some shit like it's all kinds of shit Wait, what's her name goblin queen the goblin queen okay yeah it's like they name. also there is a newspaper that we see in the first episode and on the byline it says peter parker and on the very next page there's another byline and it says by eddie brock so i feel like we're gonna get spider-man and venom cameo this, That'd be uh, sick, actually. 
that would be super dope. It, and it would be the versions of them from the '90s Spider-Man animated series, which you've been watching a bunch of with the no, little I kids. Haven't so that's to watch awesome. that. I watched that like I don't know when he was younger, younger. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, I mean that we watched those, and I I wanted to bring that up really quick to make sure that I, that I did talk about that. Um, which now we have. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. There's there's so so many things I wanted to talk about, but I just didn't want to dwell on them. Um, I know that we were talking about games earlier, so I'm going to pivot real quick. Uh, there is a game that's either out or coming out that I want to play that I haven't mentioned in, like, I don't know, 10, 12 episodes. But uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm pretty sure, is either dropping now or about to drop. I really want to play that. I want to see gameplay on it. I'm. I don't remember really playing the first one. I played so, a lot of the first one. I don't know if the I'll, second one just know. seems like an update. Of, so I'm yeah. into it. I think didn't it get good reviews, or has the first it got one reviews did the second. The second one did get reviewed today actually, okay. and it got an eight out of ten. Okay. So yeah, I'm into it. Uh, but something else I want to talk about. I want to pivot again. All the and go back into all the pivots. I want to go back into movies. And I know that yesterday, at the time of this recording, yesterday they dropped the first promo image of Beetlejuice, of Michael Keaton's yep. Beetlejuice. And today they dropped the trailer for the movie coming out September 6th, I believe. Ninth. And ninth is it's it? Ninth? ninth or 6th? I didn't write it down. It's it is one of those. It, it's the sixth. Right now I have the sixth, but it could change. Um, okay. but the movie is called Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. And here's the thing. If they don't make a third movie and just call it Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, then, then what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? But uh, Sin, did you get to watch the I trailer did. before? I did. I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you my general thoughts on it. And then say, and I'm a, like I said, everything I mean, there's not really a quick. lot. They don't really give you a lot in the trailer. And I don't think you really have to have a lot. Exactly. So in the trailer, it's just atmosphere. They're showing us a lot of stuff from the first movie, like but updated, right? You see yep. Jenna Ortega's character riding a bike. You see the the overpass that they go through, the red one they go through in the movie for the first one. You see uh, Renata White, Renata Ryder's character. Uh, I think Lydia is her name. You see Lydia, and she's at a funeral because somebody has passed. You see the mom. Lydia's mom is there, so that's cool. Um, you see Jenna Ortega in the middle because, like I said, they're all at a funeral. Jenna Ortega goes down those stairs of the same house that we've always seen, and she looks down and she sees she takes off the cover for the 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 model of the city that the dad made in the first one and she looks at it and it starts cracking and then you see Beetlejuice kind of arise and he says um I forgot what he says what does he say the juice is loose or something like that the juice is loose it's something like that something juice related yeah no that's correct the juice, the juice is, loose is loose is what he says and that's all. That's really all you get. And then it gives you the title, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and then that's it. It tells you when it's coming out. And here's the thing. I know that this isn't going to be the case because Hollywood, if this was the only trailer that we got, I would be sold. So yeah. happy with it. Cool. I don't need anything Michael else. Keaton. I already want to see it. Like, I'm, I'm so, I'm yeah. good. Beetlejuice was one of those great 90s movies that we got. I love love the atmosphere. It was really goth. I, I was just so into this movie. Like, I had a huge crush on Lydia, uh, Rona Ryder's character. I had a crush on her anyway, but then Lydia, and for the movie, I had a crush on her. Like, I was just so ready for this. So seeing this now, like, I, I, I hope they don't give us too much. I don't want to hear Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice talking too much in the trailers. I just want to see that when it comes up. I'm hoping, I'm praying that they use as much practical effect as they can because seeing a lot of the stuff in the old movie come back in this one is cgi just won't work for me it'll take me out of the film but i'm hoping that's the case and i, I really don't want to watch anything else like if another trailer comes out in a month or so uh it'll probably be, it'll probably be like late summer like august no 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 i'm sorry uh june july when when we get more trailers i hope they don't show us too much and i'm probably just not going to watch them if i can if i can help it because I, I just want to go into this movie as, as blind as I can. Just let me be immersed. Um, but I did enjoy this teaser trailer. I like the trailer so much, I don't want to watch anything else. That's like the best compliment I can give a teaser trailer. Um, and I feel like you you mirror that practically the same. Um, my notes are very short and sweet for it. 
uh, pretty much all it is is uh, I read like a small synopsis of like what the story is, which seems mm -hmm. awesome and interesting. And I, I'm kind of like you. That's it. I don't need anything else. I don't want to know anything else about the story. I'm like leave it at that. You know, like I'm done. Um, and past that, my other note is Michael Keaton is the shit. And seeing yeah. an aged, older Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice again just made me happy, and I'm sold. Where do I buy my movie ticket? Where do I buy the Blu-ray? Like, what? I'm done. I'm good. Let me let me watch it now. I don't need anything yeah. else. I'm happy. I feel the same. And the, uh, the weird, um, like, the way they did, like, the creepy version of the song, um, the popular song from the first one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Um yeah, I do. Uh, uh, De Deo yeah. from uh, Harry Bell Bellamonte. Yeah, all about it. So I I'm very, very happy with that. What I saw in the trailer, that's all I need. And I'm kind of like you. I don't know that I want to see anything else. I've seen all I need, and I want to watch it. I'm good. Same. I absolutely. Burton did this don't right. Burton's doing this one. Yeah, it, this is one. Okay, well then, yeah, Burton. we're we're golden. Keaton's in it. Burton's in it. One on rounders in it, and you add Jenna Ortega. We're fine. I'm sold. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, speaking of, of movie trailers, I wanted to jump on to the very next one. Okay. Uh, that trailer came out recently as well, and it's for Alien Romulus. Okay. Did you see that trailer? I did watch it. Um, I didn't really, I don't really have much notes on it, like because it, I didn't really see a lot of stuff. It pretty much yeah. just looked like a dark, like it looked like another Aliens movie, but maybe more bloody because there was a scene that was very like dead spacey to me. With like mm -hmm. blood streaks and stuff everywhere, so I'm intrigued to see where they go with it. And you see a little bit of the the xen like xenomorphs and um, was that thing a face hugger? Was that what was running? Yeah, those, those are, was that a, a bunch face of face huggers. It's a bunch of face huggers. Okay, so yeah. So I I only have a couple of things to say about this uh, trailer. One, it comes out August 16th. That's like right after my birthday, so I'm super excited and pumped to go see that. That's probably going to be what I do for my birthday. Nice. I'm really excited about that. The director of this movie is a director that I personally really, really like. It's a uh, Ridley Scott. I don't know how to say his name. It's either Fede or Fed. Oh, who, is Ridley Scott involved in this? Ridley Scott's a producer, but he's a producer uh, on okay. all the alien. He's a producer on like every alien thing. Gotcha. So I don't really, yeah, I don't really care about him being a producer. But Fede Alvarez, like, I really like him as a director. He does really good stuff for horror. Um, for those of you who who are like horror fans. You guys remember the Evil Dead like remake from 2013, the yeah. one that was real dark, real fucking scary, real just, bloody. Like, just bloody. He did that movie. Okay. That's him. He also did um, what's the movie where the blind dude they break into his house and he's oh, actually um, like, don't oh breathe. Is that it? What? The don't don't breathe? breathe or something? Yeah, yeah. Is it don't? I think breathe? that's it. Don't breathe. I think it's don't breathe. He's he's in yeah. that movie. He 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 directed. It just that had as a well, sequel recently, one. right? In the last yeah, he years. didn't do the sequel, but he did do the the original. Okay. But um, gotcha. at least I think he did. I don't think he did the sequel. I think he just did the original. But anyway, he did those, and he did. There was something else that he did very recently. I can't remember what the movie is, and I should probably just, honestly just look it up. But um, while I'm looking that up, I I did look at some stuff that he said. And I was really, really intrigued, and I wanted to bring that to your attention real quick. And the movie is called Don't Breathe. He did do that. Okay. Um, but some stuff. Oh, he also though did the Texas Chainsaw movie that I think came out on Netflix. The ne oh, the Netflix one. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he did that one too. Whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. He did some really good shit, and I'm excited for him because he does movies typically I like, but. Both Fetty of these movies come out is this a, year. Beetlejuice is September, and you said August is the Alien movie? Yes. Nice. Okay. So, horror fans, we eating good, at least this summer. So, that I'm excited about that. But here's the thing. Fede Alvarez is a huge fan of old school horror movies, and that means that he's also a huge fan of doing things practically. Dude, he said uh, that for his Alien sold. film, he wants to do... What's that? Sold. I, I feel like we... Yeah. I feel like every episode is about we come back to this, that CGI in moderation is good. Over CGI mm -hmm. and stuff is ass, and yeah. I don't like it. When you use CGI, I to... prefer practical effects. I think that's just like yeah. the old school in me. I really yeah. like practical effects a lot. Absolutely. When you use when you use CGI to enhance something that's already there, I, I, I'm I'm in. I'm down for you. Um, but when you just use CGI for the entire 
entirety of whatever the thing. It doesn't really, Case doesn't in really point, work for me. Uh, it part two, the CGI, the over Absolutely. CGI of it. Absolutely, but he, but anyway, the the director of Fede Alvarez, he wants to go back to men in suits. He wants to go back to doing everything that he can practical, and then enhancing that with CGI if it's necessary. So that's something that I'm really look forward to. That's something that really got me on board. I already wanted to see this movie because I'm a huge fan of Alien. I'm a huge fan of Predator. So anytime we get a new one coming out that doesn't look like absolute dog water, then I'm down for it. Um, and I really, really want to see this. Um, and we were just talking about CGI. The best use of CGI that I can bring up, especially recent, is Dune Part 2. Dune Part 2 had incredible I don't CGI. I know somehow, for- some way you would weave Dune into this conversation. You knew I was going to talk about the Lisa and Al Gaib. You knew I was going to do that. But with that, with that going on, with that said, I said it again. I, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited for this movie. I can't wait to see it. Um, the tr- this teaser trailer was all I needed. It was space. It was dark. You heard people screaming. You saw some face huggers. You saw a glimpse of a, of a xenomorph running around, out tearing people up. You saw some blood. So what do we the, learn the from these two trailers, them. Hollywood? Less is more. Less is more. Just... Let us stew on it. Give us a little bit to think about, and then call it a day. Don't give us a, pretty much the whole movie in like five trailers. So exactly. we go and we're like, oh yeah, we've seen this in the trailer. Keeping this train moving of trailers, I did watch the uh, Chucky trailer um, for the second part of this latest season, season three. And I saw those, a steel where wanna... he's like burned up or something. Uh, I guess he's burned. Up. I don't really know. He looks weird. He's he's all old and shit right now. Like oh, okay. I don't want to ruin like the story for it because I know you haven't seen it. But what I'll say is this: it looks fun. It looks like more of what we already have got, and I'm kind of here for it. I know that we get to see like um, Charles Lee Ray like in his actual body again at some point, um, but older. So I'm into that. Interesting. So that's really cool to see. Um, I just I just enjoy Chuck. I think Chucky's cool, man. He's not like the scariest thing anymore, but that's not the point of him. He's not meant to be. The I'm shocked you thing don't anymore. own a Chucky doll. Like, the only reason I don't is because my wife would probably make me sleep on the couch, and because they're really expensive to get a good one. They're really I, expensive. Uh, I keep I keep threatening to get one, and the missus is like, "No, the stupid and no, yeah, you don't same, need that." Same, 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 same. Like, um, I'm like, so, it'll so go nice yeah. with my mask and stuff, and she's like, "No." No, nah, I get it. I totally we get it. We have this one, um, and I don't know if we've ever talked about it. Um, we inherited it from uh, some of our friends that used to do the annual Halloween party that we do now. You know what doll I'm talking about? The one that sits outside, like at the bar area? Yeah. Yeah. Screw that doll. And if she's listening, I'm sorry. I love you. Don't hate me. Your spot out in the shed is nice and cozy, and you're secure. You're secure. That doll is creepy as shit. Like, that is the creepiest damn little doll. And uh, the person that gave it to me was like, yeah, some weird stuff happened. <laughs> See? Like, even in chat, Miss Sin's like, don't talk about Eva. <laughs> like, when we were packing up, she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I have to do this. Like, it just, I don't know. They're like, TVs will turn on, all kinds of stuff will happen. I'm like, oh, thanks for inheriting the doll of the creepy-ass haunted doll. Thanks so much for that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it... Hey, the one was like, did you put batteries in here? I was like, hell no, I don't want her talking to me. She's already creepy <laughs> enough sitting there. The best thing this year, whenever we put her out, there's like a little seat. It's like a little bench for baby sin. And she sits out there for the party. Like she sits there where she can see everybody. It's her own little like kid seat, perfect size for her. She's out there. Baby sin goes and like gives her a hug and a kiss. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Don't, don't, just don't leave it alone. Uh, Halloween time, I may bring her, or I may bring her in here. I don't know. I don't like to, I don't, we don't really get her out until close to time. Dude, she's creepy. <laughs> she's legit creepy. If I can find it, it may be one of my old vlogs from Halloween. She's creepy looking. You remember her. Mm-hmm. She's like this. I do. I don't know. And she's got like a cracked look to her, but blonde hair, like baby mm-hmm. doll. And, I love and, it, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. All right, moving along. I'll, I'm going to keep it moving. There is a because we're talking about movies right now. There's another movie coming out. It's already made the, uh, I think the festival circuit, and it's supposed to be coming out here soon. It's called In a Violent Nature. Dude, that's the one I was writing down that I wanted to ask you about. Oh, really? Yes, I am beyond excited. I want to see this so bad. Dude, I as soon as I realized that it was in the realm of, it's a is it a Shutter exclusive? 
Because I thought I believe it is a Shutter exclusive. Dude, it's, it's a okay. Shutter. It is a Shutter exclusive because after it hit the festival circuit, I think they bought the. I believe they bought the rights to it, so they could they could have. So it. those that don't know about this, uh, this movie essentially, it is a uh, like a serial killer movie, but you are pretty much following the POV of the killer, and it's supposed yes. to be very like it's going to be pretty gory, but it's going to be from the POV of the killer, which sounds really interesting. I saw the trailer and it looked brutal as shit, so I'm here for it. Yeah, I want to watch it. I'm all for it. I'm excited. Um, and, and so, so I'll hop. I'm gonna pivot again. I'm gonna hop off of movies really quick, and I wanted to just quickly bring up a comic that I've been reading. Um, it's called. Is, hold on, I just got asked what it was. It's called uh, "In Violent Nature." Mm-hmm. Is the name of it? Okay, continue. Is it in on. violent nature or in a violent nature? Uh, is there an A in it? I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. I might be wrong. Know. Something like that. It's along those lines. And it comes out May? Yeah, I believe it's May. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's May. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to pivot uh, really quick and talk about a comic that I've been reading. All right. And... While you do that, I will be right back so you continue along. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. Two so seconds. Go ahead. Are yeah, you talking cool. DC or not DC? You're talking Godzilla. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. I'll let you do your thing. All right. So I've been reading this comic and it's called Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. And I'm pretty sure it started at the end of last year and it's ongoing. It's got six issues available right now. And if you read, if you like Godzilla, if you're a Godzilla fan, like mon- this monster vs. Godzilla, the, the American one where we get Godzilla vs. Kong and King of Monsters and the, you know all that. If you're into that, then you'll like this comic. And if you're a, a fan of the Justice League and Godzilla, that version anyway, then you're extra going to love this comic. It doesn't make all the sense in the world, but it is so much fun to read, y'all. Like, damn, this is fun. And... <laughs> It started it started in October last year. October 17th, I want to say, is when it came out. I might be wrong on that. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's around the time it came out. But it's a it's 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 a fun, fun read. The first issue, Justice League, it's really Superman. Like Superman in is fighting Godzilla, is essentially what's happening. And Superman underestimates Godzilla. Godzilla slaps the dog piss out of Superman with his tail. He's beating on him and then superman's punching godzilla and once godzilla realizes that superman is strong you you see his tail lighting up which you already know what that is bam shoots him with the atomic breath slaps the dog shit out of superman again kills him superman's dead bro like superman's just out and i was like oh god what do you mean the whole comic like just the first issue mind you y'all first issue of the comic is just superman getting his ass beat by godzilla and I'm here for it. I loved it so much. I've been just honestly waiting for this to come out month to month. Like it's so fun. This is one of those comics where after it comes out, I'm definitely gonna gonna buy the the um, trade of it just because it's so much fun. I might actually buckle down and buy the singles of this and just collect it just because. But I, I love it. First issue, they're fighting. I'm pretty sure the second issue might be when they realize like Superman isn't getting up. We really need to figure out something going on. There's a bunch of other characters in it. You get Godzilla's in it, of course, Superman. Um, Supergirl is in it, Wonder Woman, Hawk, Green Lantern, Green Arrow's in it, Flash is in it, Cyborg's in it. Um, there's some other kaiju in it. Um, Bat Family. So, you know, you got Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, I think, are in it. Black Canary shows up. Real quick, Skull Island makes an appearance. Um, I think Wonder Girl's in it too. Like there's a there's like a Justice uh, or I'm sorry, an Injustice League kind of situation going on. Shazam has to hop in and fight some people. Like there's so much going on. But the Titans that that get focused in this, obviously Kong's in it, Godzilla's in it, but you get um Skillia, I think is the name of it. It's that big hairy spider looking kaiju. The behemoth is in it. 
And then I don't know the name of that other one. It starts with a C, but I honestly don't remember what his name is. I didn't care enough to look it up. But all of the kaiju that are in it are kaiju from the MonsterVerse Godzilla movies. So you've seen them in the last few years if you've been keeping up at all. Um, but it's really fun. Uh, I think they just introduced the Skull Cracker into like the latest issue, I want to say. Um, all the covers for this have been really cool. But on the very last issue, something happens where Godzilla is getting ready to start messing shit up again. He's gone to Atlantis at some point. Aquaman gets a crack in the fight Godzilla underwater. Kraken gets his ass beat, which is awesome. But all that culminates in Lex Luthor kind of showing up with the Mecha Godzilla kaiju buster thing, essentially, from the movie Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't know how he gets it. I think he like acquired it from uh what's the whatever the the monarch. He requires it from Monarch. And Batman has like this giant Batman like Gundam essentially to fight Godzilla with. And of course he does. I don't know when he built it, when he had time to build it, he built it, but he did. And he's fighting Godzilla and Mecha Gods. I think he's fighting Mecha Godzilla as well with this. But like it's just a fun, fun read. I highly recommend you guys check it out if you can. It's not super expensive, but God dang, it's hilarious. And I just really, really liked it. I just really, really liked it. I, I've been reading it, like I said, month to month. Oh, I've been reading it digitally. I really want to collect it physically, though, just because it's so much fun. And I am highly anticipating issue seven. I think issue seven might be the last one. Um, I haven't been paying too much attention, to be honest. I don't want to lie to you. But I think issue seven is the last one. I should have looked that up before I started talking about it. But honestly, I didn't expect to talk this long about it. But I just really enjoy these. I just really enjoy these comics. They're just fun reads. The art style is cool. It's easy to follow. It's action after action after action. There's a little bit of dialogue in it, of course, because they're trying to explain why these things are happening. But if we're being honest, you don't care why Godzilla is there. You don't care why Kong is there. They're just doing shit. And like I said, I'm here for it. Last issue came out last week, I want to say. Let me double check that actually before I lie to you guys because I've been doing that a lot tonight, unfortunately. But yeah, the last issue just came out like a week ago. So I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to see how this continues. I want to see how it wraps up. And these like crossover comics sometimes are just really boring. This one, I, I got to say, y'all, I'm, I'm down. Uh, but that's the end of that. And I'm going to move into the next thing, even though Sin's not here yet. I'm here. I'm just going to go ahead and move into it. Oh, you're back. There we go. I mean, you can see but me I'm, on camera. What are you doing? I wasn't paying attention. I was just into oh, it. Guy. Um, but moving on to the next thing, just to keep the train going, I was thinking about all the upcoming horror movies that are coming out this year, or horror adjacent, really. Yes. They're coming out this year that I had any interest in. There's a lot of stuff coming out, but it doesn't mean that I'm interested. I have a some small of things... list of some of the ones that semi have my attention. Um, okay. I don't know if you want me to run down through them. I don't know if it's going to yeah, be Yeah, dude, let's go ahead. Close. Go okay. ahead and give us what you got. So, uh... And I don't have dates for a lot of them, but yeah. I'm pretty sure they're coming out. Uh, first one is Immaculate, starring Sydney Sweeney, who is red hot popular right now. And of course, Mrs. Sin and Chat immediately says that she's been harping about this movie for a while. Uh, that's coming out, <laughs> I think, or it may be out. If not, it's coming out very soon. I'm not really sure. Immaculate, you said? Yeah. Um, I don't know a whole lot about you know what is that's out? actually coming out tomorrow. That's oh, coming it comes out, out tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, very soon. Literally, time of recording this uh, comes out tomorrow. Um, I don't know much about it. I know Mrs. Sin is on the Sydney Sweeney train right now, so Makes of course sense. she was like, "I want to watch it." Uh, the next one I had wrote down was the first Omen. So I'm kind of curious about. We'll see. Uh, moving past that, I have Imaginary. And then mm. one that, that I just definitely came out wanna... last week, right? Do what? Didn't that just come out recently? Uh, like if it didn't come ago? out last week, it's coming out soon. Very soon. I'm not sure. I think sure. that came out like a week or two ago. Oh, it did? Okay. Imaginary's out then. One I'm actually personally very excited for, and I hope it doesn't disappoint me, uh, Nosferatu comes out this year. I Please want that to be, be good bad. so bad. Please. Please. Please don't be bad. Please. All right. Moving on past that one, Alien that you mentioned earlier. Uh, Romulus. Yep, Romulus looks good. Uh, the Watchers. Okay, so this one is... I have yeah. questions. Probably more questions about who's actually doing this movie than anything. 
But the Watchers mm. is Amshine's, or it says from Amshine, but it is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the first name, Shyamalan. So in it's what his re- daughter. It, is it? Okay, I was trying to figure out what relation to M. Night this was, because, yeah. yeah. That's his daughter. That's her. So this is, is her this debut her debut? Film. Yeah. Like her, okay. I'm curious about that, because I don't, I know Shyamalan gets a lot of a lot of shit. I actually, I kind of look forward to some of his, just because usually they have a twist. Some of them are super predictable, and some of them you're like, okay. But I generally watch Shyamalan movies at some point in time. Like I will watch them. So I'm I'm intrigued by that. Uh, Quiet Place Day One comes out. Mm-hmm. So if you watch any of the Quiet Places, this will be the I, I want to call it Emergence Day, like Gears of War or something, but pretty much same thing. Like the day it all went down. Yeah. Which looks interesting because I, I did enjoy those. Um, and then, speaking of Shyamalan, he has a movie coming out called Trap, starring Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett. Which I'm interested in. That's the only reason why I want to see that. It's because Josh Hartnett's in it. Josh Hartnett time. All right. And Beetlejuice 2, I guess, can kind of fall in that category somewhat. Uh, Smile 2 yeah, yeah. comes out mm-hmm. this year. Uh, Terrifier 3 comes out this mm-hmm. year, which is mm-hmm. already getting... It's already getting like, what? Not did it get banned? Honestly, it probably did get banned already. So in it. certain places, like it, th- those movies are out of control. Uh, but that comes out, I think October twenty fifth. I could be wrong, but that is not the movie I'm excited for on October twenty fifth. The movie I'm excited for on uh, October twenty fifth. I already Christian, know what it is. If it's Christian mine too. is not excited for it, then I'm just going to end this call with him, oh. and we're no longer friends. But that's Wolfman. Oh, this is mine. This is Wolfman. mine too. Yes. Can't wait. And and, Can't and wait. Christian, correct me if I'm wrong. The person doing Wolfman, if you watch the most recent Invisible Man, is the same person. And they're doing that because yeah. everything else they've tried to do within the Universal Monsters universe has shit the bed. And this is the only one that's had success so far. Everything from Renfield to The Mummy to um, oh, what's the other one they did uh, recently? Um, uh. uh the the Dracula Untold was that it? No, not that one. There was um, oh, I can't remember. Everything's like oh uh uh, what's his name uh uh, Yes Master that guy um, that's Renfield. What's his name Renfield? Is that what yeah, you said? No, I said that one. There was another one. I'm oh, sorry, but they're oh, they're Renfield. all essentially not doing great, pretty much. So they've hired this person to come back, and they're doing. Wolfman, um, I did see. I'm really confused about the uh, Ryan Gosling stuff because originally he yeah, was he's, attached. He's now he's not a producer. In it anymore. Yeah, and it's, it's like Abbott, a scheduling somebody, conflict Paul or Abbott something. or somebody. I think is who's playing Chris, main? Chris Abbott. Chris, Chris Abbott, Abbott. Sorry, is his name. He's playing the main character, which I'm assuming is Lawrence. If they're doing it like normal, yeah, but I don't. I don't know. know what the characters' names are. I, 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 yeah, I don't I really know. But I, I mean, they said Wolfman, Invisible Man director, and I was like, I'm good. All right, I'm watching. But you better not screw it up because I'll be very critical of this movie. Uh, moving past gonna, that, mm-hmm. Return to Silent Hill is to be determined, but supposed to be coming out this year. Um, then you have Jordan Peele's next movie, which is Untitled, supposed to be coming out this year. Um, Salem's Lot was supposed to be a theatrical release this year, but it's coming out on Max. This year. And yeah, we talked about that movie for the since the podcast started. Yeah. Uh, the Toxic changed. Avenger with Peter Dinklage is coming out this year, supposedly. Unless they push it. And then uh, in Violent Nature. And those are ones I have listed. Yeah. Violent Nature, I'm... Dude, I'm, that wasn't one I didn't know about until recently. And as soon as I heard about it, they gave me a quick thing. They were like, Killer's POV... Brutal, and I was like, oh, I'm already intrigued to Killer's POV, like, flipping it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I mean, I'm, I'm practically the same way on that. Our lists are very similar. Mine just I have mine in order from, like, when stuff comes out um, because that's how I kept up with it. But there is a movie that you didn't mention that's coming out, I want to say tomorrow. And I show, yes, tomorrow – that I have interest in, and it's called uh, Late Night with the Devil. It has, uh, what's his name? Dashmalian, uh, David. David Dashmalian's in it. 
he's the guy who played like Polka Dot Man in the latest Suicide Squad movie. He's been in a lot of movies. He was in Dark Knight as the guy who yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, doesn't he have a show yeah. on Shutter? I believe he does. Like um, it's like a talk show kind of thing, sort of. I believe he does. I don't know what Do it's know? called, but I think I know it's, exactly uh, what you're talking about. He was also oh god, he's been in a lot. He was um, he's in he's in movies everywhere. He was in Dune as well. Um, but he's been in a bunch of stuff, and this thing it it, it came out. Uh, let's see, it's coming on theaters tomorrow. Like it's limited re- limited run, but it's coming out on Shutter like the very next month. Uh, so like April, I think April nineteenth is what I wrote down. It was coming out, but he, he that's coming out, and I'm like I show interest in it. Like I'm not like I don't like I'm not dying to see it, but I do have interest. Like I do want to watch it. If I don't get to go see it because I don't have the extra time, I will watch it on Shutter. Like it's something I'm interested in. Another movie coming out that I actually don't have any interest whatsoever coming in, but I wanted to mention it for the people who have interest in this, uh, is the new Ghostbusters movie that also comes out tomorrow, and that one's called Frozen Empire. I love the original Ghostbusters, but like that's kind of where it ends for me. Uh, I don't really care too much about all the extra stuff, all the sequels, all the remakes. Not really my jam. Um, but like I said, the original one, I watched that one, that movie came on all the time when I was a kid. So of course I watched it and liked it. And the, the theme song slaps. So yes, there is that. But I just want to mention that, um, Immaculate is on my list, but I only care because Sydney. Mainly I just listed it. a bunch of them coming out. Not necessarily in like the order I want to see or anything like that. I was just kind of yeah. getting prepared. Wolfman is probably my top just because obviously Wolfman is my favorite universal monster and mm-hmm. I love werewolf stuff. So that one, of course, attracts me right away. Again, I'm gonna be super critical. First trailer, everything. I, if I'm gonna be, if I see something, I'm gonna be bitching about. It. I'm gonna be pulling to you. It's gonna be bad. I'm gonna be. I mean, all you got it. You got to bitch about it. There's another movie I found out about like a week ago. It's called Sting, and it's coming out uh, April. I don't remember the exact day. I'm not gonna lie, because I just found out that it was coming out. But all I know about this movie is it's a spider movie with practical effects. And I'm down because that just reminds me of arachnophobia. And I saw the the poster for the movie and I was like, yeah, I'm into it. Um, but I'm trying to remember, it's like, I think a little girl, she's 12 years old. She like raises a spider to do like some kind of tricks and shit. I think the spider's name is Charlotte too. So like, you know, I know that's on the nose. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Some crazy stuff happens, and I think the spider turns into some kind of spider monster. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm I'm seeing. Um, and that comes out, like I said, it comes out real soon. I want to see it because it's practical. It's spiders. Spiders are, are weird. They're creepy. You haven't listed a uh, have... Puniverse yet. God, we'll 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 we'll, we'll get there. I'm sure. <laughs> God damn, that's insane. Anyway, I can't believe on, they're making on. a universe on this. Like. I told you on this podcast. They're they were doing running that. with I it did, so hard. So I didn't know hard. that that's what they were going to call it, though. That's ridiculous. I mean, anyway, move, how moving are you going to say that's on. ridiculous whenever you just look at all of it? All of it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I can deal with those movies coming out and being what they are. But, like, you're going to call it you're going to call it the Pooniverse? Like, get out of here, dude. Come on. Oh uh, anyway. Anyway, like I said, moving on, moving on. Going down the list, there's another movie coming out in in April that we talked about on the pod, and I believe it's made by Radio Silence, but that's the vampire movie coming out called Abigail. Uh, and the, that's apparently the movie about Dracula's daughter. These people come in, break into this big mansion or ha- whatever to, to do like a heist, and then Dracula's daughter Abigail is there. She's just like killing these people, and it's like a horror comedy. I'm here for that. Uh, I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, I don't expect it to be like the best thing I've ever seen, but I expect it to be a popcorn vampire movie and very entertaining, and that's what I'm here for on that. So Abigail is definitely on my list. Um, There's another movie coming out. I think it's called Cuckoo. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this movie, but I know that it was winning hell of a war at at, uh, film festivals. And it got me interested. So I actually need to see what it's about because I need to make sure it's in English. It might not even be in English. But uh, I saw a couple of things on Cuckoo. It looked really creepy. It looked pretty, like, controlled down to earth. 
Um, so I, I, I'm interested in, in whatever that is. I heard about another movie coming out a long time ago that was hitting a film festival circuit. I don't know if it's going to be my cup of tea, but the movie is called I Saw the TV Glow. And it's got, um, what's that guy uh, who's in it? Uh, he's in a bunch of stuff. Um, Justice Smith, I think is his name. Yeah, yeah, Justice Smith. He's in it. And he's been in quite a few things. Not all of them have been good, to be honest. But the way that this trailer was cut, the way that the colors are, the way that it's the atmosphere is for it, it made me want to to see it. So that's something that I'm definitely going to check. I'm not going to like rush to go see it. But it's coming out in theaters in May. I think it's going to be streaming pretty soon after that. So I'm going to check that out. Okay. Uh, also in May, Strangers is coming out. Oh, yeah. I did see the trailer to The Strangers. It didn't look like the best thing in the world, but I want to see it. I just, I just want to see what they're, what they're going to do for this. It's supposed to be a, like a trilogy of movies. Every time a horror movie comes and says it's going to be a trilogy of movies and we don't even have the first trailer yet, most of the time that happens, it's it's garbage. Like Halloween's the best example I can think of. The first one came out and I really liked it. Second one, trash. <sighs> And the third one came out, and we don't even have to talk about it because you already know how I feel. <laughs> Terrible. I do want to see this movie. I hope it's not absolute garbage, but honestly, I don't have like the highest hopes for it. I just don't want it to be trash. Like if it's, I'd rather this movie be straight mid than garbage because at least if it's mid, I won't feel like I wasted my money. I just don't want to feel like I wasted my money. Uh, next movie on the list to keep the train moving. I had, because I made this list, all tra- full transparency, I made this list a week ago, and then I saw the trailer for this movie, and I lost all interest, and that is The Crow. I really wanted to see The Crow just because I wanted to see how they were going to change shit around, but after I saw the trailer, completely lost interest in it. Sin, I don't know how you feel about it, but you know, after I watched this trailer, I was like, you know what, I don't think that's for me. I don't I mean, think that's for me. That's not it. my I'm Draven. Not rushing to watch it. That's not my Draven. That's if this movie was called The Crow, insert tagline, anything else, then I would be like, oh, okay, cool. This is just Crow for the new generation, whatever. But the fact that they're redoing like Eric Draven, I'm, I'm just, I can't. Yeah. It looks like somebody looked at. Uh, we talked about this last week, so if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. It looks like somebody watched Suicide Squad with Jared Leto, saw his Joker, and was like, you know what? We got the Joker at home. And they just made this movie with that. And also, the trailer shows you the entire fucking movie. So if you watch the trailer, you really don't need to go see this because you saw everything. Uh, Moving on down the list, uh, I took some things off. So there's like lines through my stuff. You already mentioned Trap. We both mentioned Alien Romulus. We talked about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, I know that Blumhouse has some stuff coming out, but that doesn't really mean anything. Smile was on your list. It's not on my list. Smile, the first one, I really liked it, but I don't know how they're going to do that story and make it fun. Um, so I need to see that trailer first. Uh, Terrifier 3 was on my list. That's coming out the 25th. Is uh, Art the Clown I'm not... uh, our new horror icon, like our new big, this like generation, time period, whatever? Is he the new big one that's going to end up? I feel like I he's the so. only one we have right now. Like, there's no new ones. The only other one we have right now is, like, <laughs> you're going to be pissed. The only other one we have is Megan. <laughs> like, Megan's the only She's other one we one have. got one movie. We have that one movie, but they already. I don't care. I'm going to get more. I'm going to make more of these. That's totally what we're So you're have. saying that's Megan is this generation's Chucky? I, I mean, yeah. Honestly, <sighs> everything's coming out October 25th. You got Terrifier it's coming really out on is. the 25th. Um, uh, Wolfman, which you just talked about, coming out the 25th. And also Nosferatu um, is coming out the 25th. See, the thing about Nosferatu, though, is I know it's going to be Bill Skarsgård as, as Count Olaf, which, I mean, I'm not mad about, but I'm also like, y'all could have picked literally anybody else, but whatever. Um, and he's played a vampire before. We all watched Hemlock Grove. We saw him in that. So whatever. 
But like, it's got some really good people in it. You got Nicholas Holt in it. You got uh, Lily Rose Depp is in it. And that, that's Beast, Aaron right? Taylor. And also Renfield. Yeah. Is it? That's am I, him. Am I thinking the right person? No, that's him. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Um, you got Lily Rose Depp, Aaron Taylor Johnson's in it. Um, Willem Dafoe's in it. Those are the only actors that I really knew. There's some other people. In it, I'm pretty What's sure. What's Dafoe playing? I have no idea. That's the thing. I have no idea who he's playing. Was it? No clue. Wasn't Defoe in another Nosferatu? Wasn't he in Shadow of the Vampire? Is, am I thinking right? Like, hold on. Honestly, don't remember. You have to look that up while I'm saying the next thing. You already okay. mentioned Jordan Peele's fourth film. We heard about that film at I mean, the Jordan uh, Peele Video Game watch. Awards. Yeah, if Jordan Peele like actually like directs it, I'm watching it. Yes. Um, uh, so yeah. So it has John Malkovich and Max Shrek is William Defoe. Jesus in Shadow of the Vampire. Christ. So he's technically been in a Nosferatu ish film. I know that you mean the actor Max Shrek, but because my mind always defaults well, he plays, to Batman. Okay, so he's playing. I guess I'm trying to remember how it goes. Pretty much, it's like a movie explaining the movie of uh, Nosferatu. Yeah. And so yeah. Defoe is playing him, which he's actually really Nosferatu. Yeah. But because you said Max Shrek and my brain always goes to Batman, I immediately thought of Christopher Walken as oh Max God. Shrek and Batman Returns. <laughs> I, no, we're not that's just where I Batman went. Batman right now. It's not Batman time. I'm just a poor schmo who got lucky. Oh my God. Sue me if I want to give a little back. That's like all I think about when you when you said that. Okay. Continue. But uh, I think there's only like two other movies. Uh Silent Hill. I think no Return to Silent Hill, excuse me. They don't have a date on that, so I highly, highly doubt that's coming out this year. That's probably coming out 2025. Uh, and I think that's it, because the other movies that I saw on the list aren't, like, going to be big things. Like, I know that Maxine's coming out at some point. I know that Salem's Lot is coming out at some point. Um, Shelby Oaks is coming out at some point. I wonder point. why they, they um, took Salem's Lot from theaters and they're just doing Max. It's had so many uh, makes me a little so concerned many production about the movie, issues. Honestly. Yeah, it's had a hell of production issues, so I, I don't know what's going on. But Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> Blood and Honey Two is coming out. The Pooniverse is going to start up, dude. How uh, much? How much did they spend on geez, that movie? Just... Not not a lot. No, honestly. they really didn't. I could have honestly made like the opening sign look like something I would have painted. Oh, from the movie? Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, absolutely. Awesome. Budget $100,000. What? Jesus Christ. Budget $100,000. Which may sound like a lot of money, but when you're making a movie, that is not a lot of money. Dude, there is a lot of homes in the world that cost more than that. Facts. What is Blood Hunting 2 now? I want to know what the budget is on it. Surely it's got to be higher, right? I mean, they're making I did, a Poonaverse. I used, to know, I used to know this by heart. Look it up. I'm kind of curious. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what are you looking up? Looking up the budget for the second one. I mean, now I want to be... know. They had to make money on that, right? The first one to make a second one. Oh yeah, they they made money because they didn't spend anything to no. uh, make it. Obviously, the budget for this movie is a whop. Wait, really? Did you just tell us what it was? Is that no hundred thousand for uh, the first one? Okay, I'm trying to see what the second one is because it said a hundred k, but that can't be right. There's the no way one. they have the same budget for the second movie. What? There's no way. Nah, this can't be right because this is saying less than a hundred k. Nah, 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 nah. It earned six million dollars. First well, that's one. why I have a Pooniverse coming. Dude, that's, that name is killing me. Pooniverse. I honestly can't find it because right now it's saying less than 100. I'm thinking that the first movie was made for, I'm sorry, 100,000. I think the first movie was made for 80,000 and this was made for 100,000. I can't remember. So they got 20,000 extra dollars after making 6 million. I feel like this isn't correct. The mask look like probably not even the quality of some of the masks I have behind me. 
<laughs> like no joke, the masks are not great. They look awful. There's no way I'm buying that's poo or a bear of any sort or Dude. piglet. It's so they made the first movie. They made the first movie for a hundred K and they filmed it in ten days. I mean, it looked like they filmed it in ten days. It looks like they filmed it in three days, to be honest with you. But they... dang. Man, it's wild. Anyway, well that that's all I got. So I guess we could move on. All right. Part of our... What else do we have? Is it time that we It is? It is. It's time. The mess gets you in a corner. All right. If you are watching on the live stream, it's your time to shine. Drop the questions in chat. It is time that we go to our last call question, the final segment of the podcast. So drop any questions you have for us, and we will pick one and read it. And if you are listening and you would like to partake in this, come over to kick.com slash I am Sinister. And that is how you will be able to drop your last call question, and we will answer one of these live on the podcast. Dude, I'm excited to see what you guys ask. The marketing of that while we wait on this is... I'm trying to find it. I dropped it in a in the Discord thing the other day. The Puniverse, dude. That, <laughs> God, it's so crazy. That's hilarious, man. I Whoever can't come up with that? Can you just Dude. imagine that marketing meeting? There was like, let's make a universe with Bambi and Peter Pan and all them, and someone's like Puniverse and all them. Let's call it the Puniverse. That's. Dude, they didn't even try with that. They didn't even. I mean, try. you've watched it, right? They didn't. They didn't try. The first, the first one, yeah. The first they, one. I, well, yeah. I've seen the first one twice now because I. That's the first film that I watched with the, your Friday night movie watches. I watched it then too. Dude, it's God. Oh, uh, that's right. You watched it with us there, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They did not try. All right. Questions, questions, questions. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything? Going once. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. All right. So we're going to shout out the one and only Mr. Foul Play. He asked, who is your all-time favorite bad guy in a game movie? Uh, Wait, game movie or what's the last part? Either or. Game movie or real? Or real life, like real life. Oh, real life. Gotcha. Ooh. Favorite bad guy. That's such a good question. Such a good question. Man. That's oh, man. a tough one. It's hard it's hard coming real up life. with these. Yeah, yeah, you're like right, coming right. up with the answers of these on the spot. But it like, is. It that's what's gonna fun. make it fun. Cause you do this to me every week anyways. Or we do it to do. each other, so it's now it's uh, turnabout's fair play. All right, so favorite villain, just essentially favorite favorite villain. Um, there's a lot. It, there's a there's lot so many. I, like obviously, I'm trying not to be basic and say the Joker. Yeah, that's because... the first one that comes to my mind, but I don't want to say the Joker because that's like a generic answer. Every, like a lot of people would say. It really is, man. Like, like I can defend myself on why I like the Joker. But I'm also trying to figure out like another villain I really like. Um, mm, there, there's a lot of really good villains. Um, Kingpin, if you go comics. Mm, uh, if fair. you go games, Seth Roth is a good one. Seth um, Roth isn't like my favorite though. He's he's fun, but that's more nostalgia for me for than anything else. Um. Omni Man, Homelander, both count. I'm, I'm gonna say our villains. Uh, not uh, sure, sure, sure. I'll give you that one. I'll give you you that were one. about to try to spoil something invincible, so you just stay quiet over there. I, I, exactly. I can't. I can't tell you my. Shh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, favorite villain. Dude, I'm, after this is over, I'm gonna think of one and be like, "Damn it." Okay, so if I don't go the Joker, one of my favorite villains is another very famous clown, which would be Pennywise. I really like Pennywise as a villain. Um, but then again, man, there's villains I'll, that I think get under my skin a little bit more than he does too, and I I just need to like really think about 
why I like the villain and then bring it up. Because I know that you said it could be comics, it could be real life. Like in real life, the villain is just the government, man. The government's just screwing us every day. But I don't want to get into that. And then when I think about like comic books and stuff, I think about Invincible, but I don't want to ruin that for anyone. I'm trying to think of other villains that like in games and stuff and like i'll tell you a, a video game villain that, that that used to really get under my skin and piss me off okay and that villain was uh, Sh- uh shao khan from the i literally older was about to Mortal say shao Kombat khan games. just because i remember how much i cussed him in fights oh yeah i dude, cussed him like dude. a dog dude i would just lay into him <laughs> not like a dog dude, I would, <laughs> I would just, <laughs> dude, the whole fight, I was just talking shit to him. Oh, I did not like him. We were not we were not on good terms, ever. Oh, man, that's funny. Ever. That's actually hilarious. Shao Kahn. Dude, ah, man. Ooh, oh, another, another, another villain just popped in my head. Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, dude, Littlefinger. Oh, I hated him so much much god i hated him there were there uh, cersei i probably hated cersei joffrey more than littlefinger no, i i hate i definitely hated cersei more. speaking of joffrey definitely. I, this is kind of like a quick pivot we were watching um sex ed i think mm-hmm. um i think it's what we're watching and they answer the door trying to find somebody's brother and i was like why does this dude look familiar it's joffrey grown up i was like you little asshole like immediately, I was like, "You little bastard!" Ooh, you know what? Who asked the question again? Can you can you tell me who asked it? I think uh, foul. Uh, foul play. Uh, okay, so so foul. I know you're listening right now, and I know that that you're getting this. But I I've just thought of another villain that I really that that one of my favorites, and it's a villain that I'm not not a lot of people are going to think about right now, especially when you think about like my comic book background, my horror background. But one of my favorite villains, if you believe this version of the story, is Peter Pan. Because if you think about Peter Pan from Hook's point of view, Captain Hook's point of view, Peter Pan is just like taking these kids and like, you know, essentially stealing their souls and keeping them in Neverland forever. So... I really like that for a villainous character, and I believe that that trope has been used to for different villains. But Peter Pan, I'm gonna have to go with like f- final answer because I mean I could talk about Joker, I could talk about Bane, even I could talk about all these other characters, but absolutely, absolutely would have to be Peter Pan. He, he's a fantastic villain, and he's such a good villain that we don't even know he's. A so I love that. That's my answer. Sin, what about you, dude? I'm stumped. I'm just yeah. He's throwing me off. Because I want to just... I'm going to lay up... I'm, I'm just going to lay up Kingpin at the moment. Kingpin? I mean, that's a that's a fair answer. But I'm like, it's a layup, it a dude, It's a layup. It's not even a good answer. That's like <laughs> Kingpin Joker layup right now. I'm trying to think of like who has really pissed me off over the years. But I also like... I really like villains. So... Uh, this tough. We're running a long time. This is hard. It is difficult, but yeah, I'm going to stick with Peter Aren't we supposed to do a segment? Our top 10 villains and we never did that? I think so, to be honest. Foul, you just reminded us of something that we needed to do. It was perfect. All right, mine's going to be, I'm going to think about it over the week and the next Thursday. That may be what we do. Kefka's your favorite. That's a good villain, man. That's a good villain. Kefka from uh from uh I think Final Fantasy is it six? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's dope. That's dope. I like that. I feel like he, I'm he gave you the right he now. gave you the out. He said it's okay to skip. Um, but I get it, man. Like, Dude, like no, I said, that's Peter a great Pan question, Foul. That's a great question. I feel like I'm taking like a test as, like test assessment thingy right now. <laughs> Testicles, you know. <laughs> Taking testicles. That's what I thought you were about to say. Yeah, I, was like, I feel like I'm taking testicles right now, bro. Jesus. I know, right? <laughs> taking testicles. Dude, that's... Damn. I feel like there's a really <laughs> good one that I've had reserved that I wanted to save, and I'm blanking. That's how it always goes, man. I know. The wheels are turning so hard right now. Like, we're going to finish, and then I'm going to be like, damn it. 
Real you're gonna memory. post it on. You're gonna post it on on Twitter. As soon no, as, I'm gonna as say it for next week. I'm gonna write it in the notes, and it's gonna be like one of the first things I address. <laughs> it's just gonna be your housekeeping section. Yeah, I'm gonna be right in right away. All right, sweet. That was a great question and uh, a great way to start off the live last call questions. Damn, that's gonna be a hard segment. I feel like I feel like they're really gonna do their research over the week, and then they're gonna come in and be like some wild ass question that I'm just gonna be like, what? <laughs> but it's gonna keep the answers honest, and I mean we're gonna have to be on them pretty quick, so that'll be good. All right, but that's gonna do it for this episode. Unless Christian has anything else, Christian, are you done? I'm literally thinking about villains right oh now, God. and I just thought Christian, we don't villain. have time. We'll talk about it next week. You stop. Good God. Uh, but I gotta say them now. No, you're not saying you save it. We'll discuss villains next oh, week man. along with other I'll fans. forget them. I mean, we didn't even discuss one thing today, and I'm not gonna bring it up because it will open a can of worms. What was it? You know there's a Game of Thrones trailer out right now, right? I have not seen it. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, I almost said that one. Someone said, or actually Christian said Handsome Jack. I thought of Handsome Jack already. He's a really good one. <laughs> I did. And uh, the, Christian, the villain stop. from like one of no. my favorite Wesker games. could be one. Wesker could totally be one. Wesker's one. Wesker could totally be one. Don't hate on Wesker. Dude, stop. Christian. Oh my God! Here we go. See, here we're not doing this. You did this. We're not doing this. You did this to me. We're not doing this. Um, someone, uh, Dallas said Deadpool. Deadpool would not be a villain. He's more of a gray. He's like an antihero. Yeah, Deadpool is fully an antihero. Yeah, I wouldn't ever um, really classify him as a villain. Just some villainous stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ooh, what would Aaron be? Aaron's Aaron like an anti-hero, anti-hero too, a bit, because he—he's the hero, but then he kind of well, he's still a hero though, really. In a well, maybe not to eighty percent of the population, but I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. What you just said is fair, <sighs> dude. Damn it! Now you're thinking about it. I know. All right, no. We'll we go gotta, ahead and wrap it wrap. up. This is going on too long. All right. Ooh, okay. No, oh I got God. it. I got it. I got it. Odin. God of War Ragnarok. He was a son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, Odin Remember sucked. him? Odin did kind of suck. All right, I'm done. That's the last one. That's the last one for me. Are you Peter sure? Pan's still my answer, but but Odin's a good second. Are you sure? I'm sure. Is that your Positive. system? Done. Wrapping it up. Are you good? Yep. Positive. Positive, one hundred percent. All right. We'll, we'll revisit this question because now I'm sure when the podcast quits recording, this is this conversation is going to go on. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Sipping with Sin. If you made it this far, you're a real one. We appreciate you. A little longer episode than normal. Uh, thank you to everyone listening and checking out the podcast. Be sure to rate it five stars, subscribe to it, follow it, all that good stuff on Spotify, Apple and all the other audio platforms that's on. If you're watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And, of course, if you come over to the kick, be sure to drop a follow to get notifications when we do these live. Come hang out with us, ask a question, and be a part of the podcast live session. It's something new we're doing uh, starting now, and it's been a lot of fun. So we appreciate you all. Podcast episodes do drop every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Central Time on all platforms and also on YouTube. And then we record the live podcast on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. So, thank you all for being here. You can find us at Sippin' With Sin on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads, and Facebook, S-I-P-P-I-N, With Sin. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I Am Sinister TV, and then you can find me at YouTube.com slash I Am Sinister, and of course, Kick.com slash I Am Sinister. Christian, where can the lovely folks find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at in and ink all you guys can also find me on the t- my full name christian vincent the only two places you guys can really find me after the positive relief i don't like social media that much that's right all right ladies and gentlemen you don't have to go home but you gotta get the hell up out of here it's time for christian to shut it down until next week all right guys thank you so much for listening to yet another episode of sipping i saw a review for Leave us a comment. Tell us what we're doing, what you want to see, what you want to see more of, less of, all that good stuff. We do every comment we want to leave saying. But before you leave, 
want to leave you guys with three words. Three words leave you with on every episode. And as we're leaving, the first you. alert goes off of it. Yes. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. So I'm going to leave you these three words. If you heard them before, I've heard them before. Listen carefully because they might just save your life. And those three words are don't get gutted. See you guys next week.